what's up guys? How you doing? It is Lasty here. Welcome to a new episode of Fatal. Episode number three to be exact. Thank you so much so far for your support on the first couple of episodes. They've done really well and uh, I've enjoyed making them. So let's go on to a third episode today and see what we can do. So I left you at the end of the last episode with a couple of things to do. The first one was to leave a thumbs up on one of my comments. Option number one or option number two. Uh, option one I believe is the 86 rated inform Casper Schmeichel and then also Chris Smalling at centre back. And then option two which was the winner is this right here. Courtois in goal with uh, 81 rated CDM Kante as our as our main CDM and it's so important to get him into the team because he's such a fantastic player on this game and hopefully we should be a little bit more solid in terms of not letting goals in at left right and center so if you guys do enjoy the episode please don't forget to smash a thumbs up on the video itself uh, we had loads of likes in the last one let's try and beat the target of let's say 1500 likes today that would be amazing uh, and don't forget to of course subscribe to the channel and everybody else that's involved in Fatal, uh, there'll be a link down below in the description to all 16 channels taking part. So we have Courtois, who I'm, I like as a Premier League goalkeeper. I, I like Jack Butland as well. He's like a super cheap keeper. Um, but I also like the 89 rated Courtois. He feels very, very solid to me. Um, and then I think we could have just about afforded the 83 version of Kante with both of these two players in the team. Uh, but I wasn't too sure and I didn't want to go over budget, of course, because then I'd have people like calling me out for rule breaking and stuff. And I'm fine with the 81. Like his stats are very similar to the 83 anyway. Um, it was just important to get Kante in. We could have like gone with the other route and then had an amazing episode today. I could have brought in ones to watch Kante or something. Uh, but I don't think there'll be that much of a difference. Let's spend our money wisely on like a new striker or a really solid defender in today's episode if we can earn it. So, uh, Mkhitaryan then, so far, has played 14 games, got 15 goals and 2 assists for my club. Obviously, he's played 4 games in the Fatal Road. And uh, I, he, he got a hat-trick in the first game, a couple goals in the second. And then didn't really do anything in um, the last episode. He got 1 goal, I believe it was. So, he was a little bit more quiet. But I kind of expect that as I'm bringing in like crazy strikers and stuff. You know, Eden Hazard did alright. Uh, and we've still got Ian Nacho. The other thing that I needed you you guys to do was to vote on which substitute I could bring in and as you can see down here you wanted the 87 rated uh, Harry Kane I think in the straw poll I put third in form but this is actually like the second in form but he had an upgrade so that's why I thought it was the third um, and as you can see cost me 170k this guy was going for like 60 to 70k before the player of the month Kane SBC came out so He's on the bench for now. We definitely don't need like another striker option in terms of subs bench stuff today. So try and bear that in mind. If we do beat our opponents today, maybe let's try and bring in some defenders or midfielders into the squad. Hopefully they'll get the most votes. But of course, it's all up to you at the end of the day. I'm going to be selling this Harry Kane before the player of the month SBC ends. So there may be an episode or so where I don't have him on the bench but obviously I need to sell him whilst he's still got a high price and then I'll buy him back once he plummets so that we continue to use him in the series. So that's enough waffling from me. Let's just get on in to our first game of the episode. All right, guys, we found our first opponent. This is his team. Oh, my God. That's colorful. So he's got one of the Irish guys. He's got, I think it's Robbie Brady. I'm not 100% sure on the name. But he's got SBC upgraded Defoe, Player of the Month, Ali and Sterling. That's a really solid Prem team. Take a look at some of those midfielders though and the defenders. Because we could possibly bring them in as substitutes if we beat this guy. Bit of a tough ass though I'd say. Especially with the team differences. Right. Hoping for a nice lag free solid game of FIFA. That's what we're after today. Tackled him straight away. I like that. Now, Mikitarian, push on, buddy. Loads of space. All right, where where actually is Mikitarian? He's sort of held back, way, way, way back. Uh, come on, Hazard, just take the shot. Go on. Oh, oh my God! What a strange goal. What a very, very strange goal. My phone's ringing, and that probably shouldn't be. 
because I'm actually expecting a call, but I'm mid-episode. So, Eden Hazard has scored a wonderful, wonderful goal in off the bar. Like, that ball was about that far over the line. How very strange. Like, that's a pot shot out of nowhere, really. Ian Acho plays it to him. He takes it on the, on the fly, like, outside of the boot. Swaztek, as I think the F2 call it. I'll take it. 1-0. Eden Hazard. Go on, lad. Leading to a second booking, maybe. Hazard. Oh, oh. Hit it again, lad. I'm finding it nice to try and get... He's, like, leaving me a bit of space for the long shots. Whether or not he keeps doing that throughout this game... Ooh, why did that not tackle? This is bad, because Jermaine Defoe's got a shot on him. He always has. Recently brought up back into the England squad again, if you didn't already know. He's the new player for this guy's team, considering the Irish guys only came out, well, a couple of days ago for you when you're watching this. Mikitarian, Oh, good save. Good save. To try and make sure that it hasn't, like, failed again like it did in the last episode. Deli Alley. Oh, Butland saves that one. Over the top. That is a run from Henrik Mikitarian. I'm going to go with the Berber spin. I'm going to try and get it back inside. It hasn't quite worked. We'll play it to Eden Hazard, who's just scythed him down. I'm not going to lie. That was a terrible challenge. He's booked, so I've now got to be careful with him. Can I take a crazy long shot with Mikitarian? Ooh, I think the goalie saved that, so that's a corner. We'll go for the near post Delhi Alley special. Flick it on. Come on, someone. Anyone. No, 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 no. Not a Sterling attack. That is the one thing I do not want. Mikitarian. Ah. Although, it's worked out well for us. No, and again, like, just trying to force it to him. I shouldn't do that. Sloppy play. That's a foul, ref. Take the shot, lad. Oh, what a shot that was from the main man, Mikitarian, on that weak foot left peg. I don't know how it's gone through all those players, but it has flown into the back of the net. And we are 2 0 up. That's 50k plus the 30 we scored. We're on 80k, boys, and it's still the first half. What I'm looking for is a rage quit now. Nah, people don't seem to rage quit. I think it's because I'm actually playing quite sloppy, and there's a lot of potential for this guy to get back in it. Like, he knows that he's. He knows there's a chance whilst playing me. Right. I need to really annihilate people. That's that's how you get the rage quits. When you really annoy them. Ah, Reed was too slow. Which means he didn't really read that. <laughs> His name is Reed. Very funny. Um, but wordplay is the way forward. I don't even know what I'm saying. I'm just concentrating so much. And I haven't looked up at my camera for a while to see if it's actually still working. It is... Right, let's push for a third before half time. We can't do that because he blows the half time whistle and it might be substitute time. We've had the whole game. We need to take more advantage of this and score goals and earn ourselves some big coins here so that we can afford to lose the second game if it doesn't go as well. Let's make our subs then. So I will attempt, I, could, I guess, to bring both players on. Uh, Andre Gray for Ian Acho uh, and then... I mean, is it smart to play Mikitarian instead of Leadbitter and then bring Harry Kane on as the other striker? I know, like, Mikitarian's then not as, as involved. Kane like that, Hazard at Cam. I think that's a smart move. Like, it's what you should do, um, even though our main player is unlikely to score again. Like, he's already scored this game. Let's just have him in midfield doing well. Why can't I play on? What? Oh, that would be why. Who did he just get sent off? Was that... Yeah, he just got his Kante sent off. So there's going to be more space in the middle now. That's Mikitarian. Long shot. Ah, oh, blocked. Go on. Go on. Oh, Mikitarian, you've missed that. Oh my god, that was a chance for another 50k. That would have been really nice as well. I don't, like, if we concede, we're really lacking on coins. That's a pathetic challenge. Send him straight off. That's abysmal. He's got loads of bookings. And I think he might be a bit stressed, so potential for another red card is strong. Penalty ref. 
Yes, we've got ourselves a penalty. I can see him rage quitting before we even get the chance to take it, to be fair. There you go. There's the second half rage quit, which I think is 50k, putting us from... 80 up to 130,000 coins from the first game. Now, don't forget, we were in a very similar situation after yes, after last episode's first game, should I say. Uh, so, whew, but at least you know that we've won that game and you can choose one of those, hopefully, defenders or midfielders from that squad that we could bring in as a substitute. Should be pretty good. And when you look at the overall stats... I, you can see why he rage quit. We had the, we were dominating in possession. It should have been more than 2-0. Uh, but I was bottling a few chances, as obviously you can tell. Uh, but yeah, he didn't even have a shot on goal. We were pretty dominant there. So then, moving on to our second game. Please don't be like last episode where we completely throw it away. Okay then, straight into game number two. And ooh, that is a strong looking Premier League side. He's got the ratings refresh upgraded. Alexis Sanchez at striker. Adam Lalana in form. Canter. Oh my god. That's a really strong Prem team. The sort of thing we're looking to build. Um, so yeah. Oh god. Try and stay positive. Try and play your game of FIFA that you want to play, Tom. That's not smart, is it, really? Trying to play the ball out of defence like that. But we, we tried it. Bit of a strong ta challenge there. But he's won possession back. Down the line to Lalana. who's probably going to... No, he's not cutting inside. Keeper, please. No. Uh, uh, what the hell happened there? Uh, uh, I don't really know. All right, Grant Ledbetter. Play that ball out to Ian Acho, who gets done by Kyle Walker, who is, of course, very quick. We weren't going to outpace him, really, were we? Right, Ledbitter is in an attacking role here. Hazard has lost it a couple of times for me and not liking him so far this game. Oh, good save, Courtois. Luckily, we have got a keeper we can sort of rely on now. Uh, so that's positive, at least. Look at that ball to Hazard again was I wanted that to Mikitarian. I'm My passes are not going where I'm asking them to. This is stressing me out. Now up. All right, we've got a run on with the right back here. We're getting chased. But if I... That's a foul. That's a foul. I'm getting caught up, man. He's really quick everywhere. Maybe just try and whip it in, I guess. See if we can get ahead on it. Go on. Go on. No, it's not worked out. But can we win that instead of Kyle Walker? No, and that's not a f Yes, it is a foul. Thank you. Oh no, get it into the box, go on, Mikitarian scores, I'll take that, that's 50k. <laughs> like, that's the hard way about scoring a goal from a penalty, I've gone the hard way around. Um, but a nice, nice bit of play there from Iheanacho to keep that ball in play and a header from Mikitarian. So 130k boosts up to 180k after that goal right there. I like it, I like it a lot. I hate that. Because he has more possession, I imagine. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, that is a killer ball through. He's just equalized straight away. Which makes me feel like he's been toying with me this whole game. 
Such bad positioning from my fullback. Courtois nearly saved it. But that right there was a solid goal. And the half-time whistle goes. Look at that. I feel like we're being dominated here. We got our lucky goal. We're brought back down to 150,000 coins now. But it's like, that's still a decent amount of coins, right? Let's make my substitutes. Uh, Ian Acho coming off for Andre Gray up front. Now, I think I'm also going to do this. I'm going to play Kane at centre mid. I think he can do a good job there. I don't want someone so sloppy up front because this version is actually quite slow. But I think he'll be an alright centre mid and we still get Mikitarian involved. That's what I'm going to go with, guys. Hopefully it works. If it doesn't, I'm an idiot. Alright, we'll play Schlop. Off we go then. Through to Andre Gray, who's super quick. Can you do it for me again, mate? You can. Oh, what a super sub he is. Thank you guys for bringing Andre Gray into my ultimate team as a sub. Because, damn, he's quick. <laughs> That's a solid finish. If very similar to the other goal that he scored for me. I think in the second episode. Very, very, very impressed with Andre Gray. He's a good finisher. 2-1. Yes, Andre Gray has got it into the box. Nail it. Oh, someone didn't quite get there. Having Harry Kane up front in that situation probably would have been a good thing. That was too much. Oh, yes. He's still got the ball. He's still got the ball. He's been given the ball. Oh, I just wide the post. Oh, no. You just want that extra money for scoring the goal with him rather than like maybe taking an easier goal with someone else, which is dumb, really. That's, that's got to be out. What? That ball is still in? No, no, no. Oh, come on. That ball went out for a throw-in, surely. Like, uh, how does the keeper... No, no, not getting stressed. I don't care if we don't win. We're, there's no way we're losing this much money. Like, we've still got 150k. Even if we, like, conceded loads of goals from this point, we've still got money to play with. Go on. Oh, I thought that wildie from Harry Kane had just gone in. It would almost be better to like lose now than it would be to in extra time, I'm pretty sure. But it's going to go extra time. Brilliant. So those are the stats at the end of the game. Uh, I've been dominated in terms of possession, but we've had very similar shots on goal and stuff. I feel like this isn't going to go well. I can't exactly remember the rule if we were to win in extra time or lose in extra time. So I'll work the numbers out at the end. Oh, good save, Courtois. Where the hell is my defense at? What? He's just exploiting this side as well because of how dodgy my... going at this point i'm just literally doing it because he's going down the middle i think no i've guessed the wrong way if i score we win i'm gonna just hit and hope i don't know which way i'm gonna go 
It's got in. We've won the game. I think he got a foot to that. And I'm not going to dab on him or do anything stupid. But I know we get a, an, a bonus for winning on penalties. I'm just not sure how much it is. So I'll figure it out and I'll meet you guys uh, afterwards when we're back at the squad screen. And let you know exactly how many coins that we've got. My god, we did not deserve to win that game. That, that guy was better than me. Outplayed me. Uh, but we held on to penalties. So, yeah. <laughs> very, very lucky win. Okay, guys, so we have managed to get two victories in our two games today. The first one a lot more convincingly, and the second one, jammy. Um, but I actually calculated everything wrong. Uh, from the first game, we were able to get 155k and not 130k, because actually a second half rage quit isn't 50k, it's 75 so, that's pretty good. Um, so, we were up to 155k. And then, after the two-all draw, we well, we were up 20k from that. Because one of our goals was from uh, Mikitarian, Bringing us up to 175k. And we got a 30k bonus for winning the penalty shootout. Bringing us to 205k as what we can spend. Now, I've got a couple of options for you. Of players that we could upgrade to in the squad. Option number one would look like this. It's basically bringing in the in-form Azpilicueta as a centre-back, who's around 130k. And then for nearly 70k, we could bring in Adam Lalana, who did very, very well against us in that last game as a centre midfielder. He's obviously had a massive defending upgrade, so he's got really good stats for a centre mid. Uh, and of course, four-star skill, five-star weak foot, a little bit like Mikitarian. So that would nearly spend all of our 205k that's available to us. Or we could do this, which is to bring in Kyle Walker's upgraded right-back version, as I was previously moaning about our current right-back. So that would help solidify that area. And then a little bit like Eden Hazard up front, we would bring in the 86 team of the tournament, Sadio Mane, which I think is used by someone else for their fatal player. But of course, we can bring him in if we can afford him. I'm pretty sure the Maverick Wolves have got uh, this Mane guy. So it would be another one of these seven chems, uh, like forward to striker items, a little bit like Hazard. But like we've seen so far, he's not really been a problem for us. And I think Mane with his 97 pace and 90 dribbling up front, even on seven chemistry, would be pretty damn good. So that would be our strike force like done. Uh, we would then have our right back sorted. We would just basically be working on this side of the team here of center back, uh, left back, and then, well... Uh, le left central midfielder really to, to finish off the team uh, but other than that, do you know what it's a pretty decent looking side that we've got already at this point in time uh, obviously we've currently got Kane and Andre Gray as our super subs so if we were to bring in Mane uh, we would have a couple of subs that we probably you know, we'd use one or two of them maybe at some point, but obviously they would be our starters, so they're more than likely to stay on if their stamina is good, so what we would look for in substitutes today would be players further back the pitch that could help us out in that second half when my silver players get tired. So there you go guys those are your two options, uh, leave a thumbs up on my comment that I leave someone asked me to pin my comments so they were easier to find Unfortunately, you can only pin one comment, so I, I wouldn't want to give like an advantage uh, to one of my comments and not the other. Uh, so hopefully they should be somewhere near the top of the comments bit. They're the ones with the most thumbs up. Uh, so you'll be able to vote on option one, which of course is Lalana and Aspilicueta, um, whose price was just under the 205k at the time of recording this, which I'm pretty sure is the rules. Uh, and then option two would be upgraded Kyle Walker and then Mane, who was pretty close to 200k. Uh, like the, both of them duo at the time. So that's option number two. Uh, and I'll also leave a straw poll link in the description for you guys to go ahead and vote on my substitutes from all of the pool of players that we've played against today. So that ends episode number three. A lot more successful, I guess, than the last episode where we only walked away with 50,000 coins. We got 205 to spend. So it's been pretty good. If you've enjoyed the episode, don't forget to thumbs up the video. I'd greatly appreciate it. It motivates me to make all this type of content. Uh, and of course, don't forget to subscribe to me and everybody else involved in Fatal. I'll leave a link to them down below in the description. Have a great day and I'll catch you next time. Peace.